you saw the title. Today we're ranking herbal teas for anxious people. Herbal teas don't have caffeine in them, and for me, caffeine is a one-way ticket to jitteriness, brain fog, and anxiety. But Kylie, what about decaf? I hear you. I like decaf coffee. It's actually the only kind that I buy, and I've got a couple bags back in my drink cabinet. The thing about decaf coffee is, even though it won't make you totally wired, it's not gonna help calm you down. On the other hand, these teas supposedly will help calm the nerves and they've been used medicinally in some form for hundreds of years. I've raided my tea cabinet and I bought a couple new ones, so let's put them to the test. This is chamomile, probably the most commonly recommended tea for relaxation and it's marketed a lot of times as something to drink before bed. Next is peppermint tea, which is fresh and a little bit uplifting, a little more wake up type tea without the caffeine. And it's supposed to help your breath, which makes sense because it's minty. This is one that you can also make iced tea with, but I'm gonna be brewing all of them hot for today's ranking. The next tea is honey ginger, and it definitely smells the strongest out of the bunch. Now, while ginger tea isn't up on the list for things that help with anxiety, it is medicinal and it's a nice warm beverage that you can drink that doesn't have caffeine. So I thought it was only right to include it in this ranking. In my opinion, the ginger tea might be the most interesting of this bunch because it's actually these little granules instead of a tea packet. Now this one's the only loose leaf tea I've included today on our ranking, and it's rooibos, which is an herb found in South Africa originally. It's also supposed to help with anxiety, and this blend includes the rooibos, oat straw, rose, and vanilla. Now, tea number five is actually an herbal blend, which you'll find at a lot of grocery stores, especially when they market them as a tension tamer, like this one does. The first ingredient is Eleuthero, which is also known as Siberian ginseng. The other ingredients are peppermint, cinnamon, ginger, chamomile, lemongrass, licorice, catnip, and tilia flowers, along with lemon flavor and hops, and vitamin B. Now that the kettle's heated up, I'm going to steep each of these teas for about four minutes. And I'm adding more water to the ginger one because it says add it to 12 ounces of water. Okay, well, I didn't have enough water for all five, but that's okay. I'm gonna fill up the kettle again and we'll taste these first. While we're waiting for these to steep, I want to give you a closer look at this loose leaf rooibos tea. It has this really beautiful flower look to it, as well as the green. Okay, it's been about four minutes. For our first taste test, let's look at chamomile. It has very mild smell. I'd say almost no smell at all. If you don't add any honey, there's not really any sweetness, but it's not bitter. Yeah, as you sip on it, you definitely get a bit more of a floral note, but there's really not much to write home about. Because chamomile is so light, it's almost hard to give it a ranking. It's incredibly mild, but it's easy to find in grocery stores and the medicinal effects of it are being studied, so that gives it a boost. I'd put chamomile solid B tier. Let's take a look at peppermint. It's a much darker tea than the chamomile and it smells minty too. You won't be surprised at what you're drinking. This one, the mint starts up front, and then after you drink it, there's this kind of heaviness that settles in your mouth. It's not unpleasant, but it definitely tastes different on the front end than it does on the back end. The peppermint tea is stronger than chamomile, definitely has more flavor and unique notes to it. However, I don't know where it stands on the anxiety-reducing effect side. So again, it's hard to give this one a ranking. However, just from personal preference, I call this one an A tier. Ooh, okay, the ginger one is still hot. Remember this one is honey, ginseng, and ginger in a crystal form, not in a packet form. So it dissolved into the water. The smell right away hits you. It smells almost spicy. Oh, mm. So it's definitely sweet and zingy and earthy. Oh, absolutely not. Oh no, I'm putting this solidly in D tier, actually. The sugar, after you get a few more sips into it, is just sickeningly sweet. I think personally, I'd rather have a tea that isn't pre-sweetened so I can add honey or sugar to my own desire. Mm. 
Oh, this had potential to be good. It had so much potential. Next up is the rooibos, which was our loose leaf that also had rose and vanilla in it. This one is a lot like the chamomile to me. It's very, very mild, but there's a little bit more of that herby taste on the back end of it. It also lingers longer than chamomile, which I think is a plus. However, it does still taste a little bit more watery than some of the others, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think with some honey, this would be absolutely fantastic, but I'm going to have to put it in B tier. Sorry it's not that exciting of a tier list. These are all genuinely pretty okay. Last up, we have the Tension Tamer Herbal Blend. This one has an interesting smell, and I'm not quite sure how to describe it. It smells vaguely Christmassy, which I guess would be expected given that there's cinnamon in it, but it also smells the most berry-like of all of them. There's lots of different flavors competing in here, which makes sense considering that it's a blend. And this one lingers not in a good way like the rooibos. I have to say, I'm not entirely enjoying the taste. And something I've noticed with this blend in particular, even though the Tension Tamer and the Chamomile are both the same type of packet from the same company, the Tension Tamer has more sediment coming out of that tea bag and just settling into the drink. <sighs> yeah, I'd have to give that one a D tier. So there you have it, the anxiety reducing herbal tea tier list. Now these are only five of the hundreds of options between different types of tea blends and brands. So I want you to comment which ones I left off the list. And if you agree or disagree with my rankings, I want you to tell me why. Thanks for watching.